Dave, what a fantastic win. If you're going to win a game, leave it late like that, the best way to do it, is it? Yeah, it is, I suppose, in terms of um, an awake performance. It's your archetypal perfect one. Um, defended well. Tight game of very few chances. Lots of play between both boxes. Um, and then one great forward run, great forward pass. And, and Aiden doing what Aiden, Aiden does. Um, ultimately wins us, the, wins us the game. So great result for us like I said we spoke about these two games against two playoff teams that are in there if you like not so much rivals but um, having to get a good points return and that should give them an awful lot of belief the table looks a whole lot brighter now um, and we've got to keep keep building keep building on what they gave us tonight the, the, the supporters and, and take that into Saturday now and the boring part of me says this and said in there to them really they have to obviously enjoy it recover we looked a bit, a bit tired because we played an unbelievable intensity um, but that's no good them results are no good unless we back them up at the weekend now. You mentioned the, obviously Aidan Keaton got the goal he'll get the headlines but it was a real team squad shift tonight wasn't it? It was yeah I thought I thought first off I thought for the last 10 minutes we we, we stopped believing in what we were doing in the way in um, and not became desperate but, but changed what we were doing we spoke at half time about, about being patient we, we wanted to try and get our full backs beyond their, beyond their front three I thought we did that well, I, I, I was disappointed. I, I thought oh, Maka didn't have his, his greatest game in terms of going forward um, on, a, on a difficult pitch this side, especially first half. And Kitch and, and Moles and, and Jimmy, it just wasn't wasn't clicking between the between the halfway line and the penalty area, and that resulted in not making any real significant opportunities. We need to keep believing in that and be and be patient and and, and, and hope that, that that quality comes along and. If the quality is right, it may only take one one chance, and it, it was that. Like I say, we, we, we asked them about playing forward. Mac has made a great run. It's a, it's a great ball in behind, um, and like I say, you, you wouldn't pick anyone else in our squad. Certainly, even in the in the six yard box to to put the ball away, and, and Aiden's done that for us, which is a like I say, a, a brilliant makes it a brilliant result and a um, a real good. Um, Good total of points, if you like, from the last two really difficult away games. You obviously, came out with a great intensity after the second, you know, after the half-time break, and, and you made changes during the course of that second half. Was there a point in your head where you were settling for a point? No, I, I don't think you settled. That, but I think that's why we made the changes. It was a hard one today in terms of the significance between three points and one point. Um, and what we wanted to do was try and give ourselves the best chance of, of winning it by. Trying to get goal scorers on without it, it hindering our shape too much and without it hindering our ability to defend set pieces in terms of size. But we were pretty small at the end, and um, <laughs> that one obviously where Maka goes off, you're thinking just we've got to defend one throwing, um, which they did, they, like I said, they did manfully. You know, when you come here, you, you have to deal with the, the physical threat. They play a little bit differently under under Jimmy and playing a little bit, um, being a little bit more patient in terms of what they do. but. When they get set pieces, they put the ball in the box and send the big lads forward. And I say we've 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 defended really really well. Um, got a little bit of luck in terms of the odd mistake we made. One flashed across the goal, one hit the post. That probably hopefully makes up a little bit for not getting the rub in the previous away performances at Dover and Yeovil. Certainly, that spring to mind. So um, brilliant night. Like I say, we'll, we'll we'll enjoy it. Gets us into a position where yeah. all of a sudden it's a little bit palpable now in the fact that. We are in and around it, um, regardless of teams having games in hand or whatever else not. Uh, we look after ourselves and it's another one ticked off in terms of where we want to get to come the 25th of April. And that togetherness between the fans and the staff and the players tonight again, you can you can see that coming out of the full-time whistle. Yeah, it's, it's easy when you win, isn't it? It's it, Because ultimately that's what everyone's objective is, it's, uh, it's to send them home happy and, and ultimately us go home happy as well. Um, <laughs> and we can all do that. Um, Again, after you after you score and you get that first goal, the the noise from back there. I, I, I was thinking, I was a little bit not concerned tonight, but more thinking there's there's no it's not segregated, so will all our supporters <laughs> congregate in one place, or will they be sporadically bit, bits around the ground? But thankfully, they all went behind there, they stayed behind there, um, which made like I say, a real a real atmosphere, and obviously to. Um, to score at that end in front of them um, and then be able to go and celebrate with them at the end of the game um, shows how much it means to us first and foremost but how much it means 
to us to be able to do something for them. Brilliant. And just finally, how is Macca in there? You've got to, he, th you? he thinks we've won five nil. <laughs> um, no, he's, he's got a bash on. He's got a bash on the head. Um, I, I don't know. I've not. I've not spoken to him by players' accounts. He was. He was. He was knocked out. Um, so obviously there'll be protocols to go through. He's. He's fine. He's fine in there. It's not like he's. Um, Completely away with the away with the fairies. Um, he's he's okay. He he knows he's a compass man. He knows where he is. Knows what he's doing, and he'll be he'll be fine. Um, and if, if and, and certainly again, dependent on what the situation is, he may not be available for the weekend. But other players then in the squad have an opportunity to come in, and we, like I say, we've 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 more than enough of that to to deal with it. Um, and someone else potentially gets a chance.